Introducing the 10 Keys As a success coach, I have had a chance to examine the thoughts and feelings of hundreds of people. I have found that many people are so focused on changing themselves that they lose themselves in the process. Although their initial desire may have been for self-improvement, too often they use their new education and discoveries as fresh material with which to engage in critical, perfectionist behavior, leading to frustration and anxiety, an erosion of self-belief, and ultimately a lack of enjoyment and fulfillment from everyday life. When I share this observation, all too often, the response I receive is, I'm just trying to be the best that I can be. But what does being the best you can be really mean? At last, there is an answer. The secret to experiencing lifelong happiness and contentment lies within these guiding principles, the 10 keys. Following is an outline of the 10 keys. Each chapter of this book represents a different key and explains the role it plays in creating lasting happiness and fulfillment. The first key, take charge. The principle of choice. The first and most important step in becoming the best you can be is to simply decide to be that person. Of course, that's much easier said than done. Most people find plenty of excuses to avoid being honest with themselves about who they are and what they really want from life. Make the choice to own up to your true potential and step into your brilliance. The second key, let it go. The principle of acceptance. Don't waste energy trying to change or control things that are well beyond your control. Instead, focus on the things that are within your influence and find a peaceful acceptance of the rest. The third key, live for now. The principle of presence. Don't live in the past. Blaming your current reality on experiences from childhood early adulthood, or even last week. At the same time, don't be so busy dreaming of your future that you overlook or waste the opportunities that are presented to you today. It's important to accept the past, dream of the future, but live in the moment. The fourth key, expect the best. The principle of optimism. If you expect things to turn out well, they usually do. Likewise, if you expect to be disappointed or let down or to experience failure, then it's highly likely that will be your experience. Being optimistic is not about being naive or ignorant about potentially negative outcomes. Optimism is about expectation. Expect the best from life and you will usually get it. The fifth key back yourself the principle of belief one of the most important ingredients in creating any success in life is to believe in it you need to learn to believe in your dreams your ideas and yourself other people will always try to lead you away from your dreams not because they don't want you to be happy but because they are governed by their own fear self-doubt and limiting beliefs when you truly believe, it's amazing what becomes possible. The sixth key, get out of the way. The principle of permission. So many people don't take ownership of the possibilities in their lives. They constantly blame other people, other times, and other situations for their circumstances. The only person who can really hold you back in life is you. Overcome your limiting beliefs ideas, and attitudes, and give yourself permission to truly shine. The seventh key, be grateful. The principle of abundance. Very few people genuinely don't have enough money to get by. And yet, so many affluent, 
healthy people constantly talk about all the things that they don't have. A poverty mentality is a serious affliction. When you focus on how much you already have, your true desires will be easily met and you will discover how little you genuinely need. The eighth key, give all you can. The principle of generosity. Be generous, not just with the gifts you give, but also with how you give of yourself. To be truly generous, you need to give your time, energy, and spirit. Avoid judgment and be generous in your assessment of others. What you give in life will determine what you receive. The ninth key, keep it up. The principle of commitment. It won't always be easy to do, be, or have everything you want in life. But if your desires are genuine, over time, these things will begin to come to you with ease. Don't give up or choose a more complacent path. If you're committed to being the best you can be, then you're already becoming that person. The tenth key, be brave. The principle of courage. If you want to be the best you can be, you need to do the right thing, not the easy thing. I don't mean right or wrong in a black or white, moralistic sense. The principle of courage is about doing the right thing for you and having the courage to do it, even if at the time it feels like the hardest thing in the world. When you apply these guiding principles to your life, you can feel confident you are being the best you can be and lifelong happiness and contentment will be yours. If you would like to learn more about applying the 10 keys and unlocking the secret to lifelong happiness and contentment in your life, you can download the Happiness Code workbook full of exercises, ideas, and inspiration free from dominiquebertolucci.com.